What is up guys? Welcome back to DCS World and of course welcome aboard the A10C Warthog for another tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the CBU-105 and by extension CBU-103 when corrected munition dispensers. Now in our last video we talked about JDAMs and uh, the reason I bring that up is because the CBU-103 and 105 behave much in the same way except that they are cluster bombs. So if you remember back to our video on the CBU-87 and 97 cluster bombs, these work very much similarly except that these weapons are GPS slash INS guided. They are essentially JDAM cluster bombs. Officially they're called uh, wind corrected munitions dispensers or WCMDs. Uh, we have a lot of the same settings available to us from the CBU 97 and 87. Uh, so let's quickly look over at our DSMS. Let's of course double check that our master arm is arm and our TGP is on because we will need the TGP to create a SPI. Let's check out our profile. We've got CBU 105s loaded this time. Let's load up the profile there. And as before with the JDAM, we really can't change much. However, we can select a ripple here, but uh, you're not going to do that, that uh, all that often unless you really need a lot of weapons on target. Nose and tail fuse can't be changed. It's locked to CCRP just like the JDAM. And from the settings page, we only have a minimum altitude setting that we can change. So really nothing to change there. So we're not going to change anything in the DSMS. If we go to the inventory screen though, however, and I select, let's say, Pylon 5, CBU, it's a CBU 105. Just like with the 87 and 97, we can change the height of function here and then load it, but I'm gonna leave it at the default of 1,800 feet above the ground. So return, 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 stat, make our HUD soy, and then grab these weapons here. Now you can see I actually have alignment degraded here so we're gonna need to wait just a little bit until these uh, are fully aligned. Uh, it takes about a couple of minutes or so. But uh, while that's doing that, let's go over to our TGP, make it soy. I've already got it looking at some targets here. So let's zoom in a little bit, get a nice target locked up. We're gonna drop these with an area track right in the middle of these four targets here. So I'm actually gonna use my keyboard controls this time to finally adjust the position. Right about, say there. Then we go TMS forward long to create a SPI. And as always, we double check that we've got a SPI here with TGP in the lower Left portion, uh, left portion of the HUD. Now, stand by a little bit while we wait for these fully align and say ready in the little boxes similar to the JDAMs from the previous video. All right, we're aligned and we're facing the target here. We're about 10 miles from the target. getting lined up with the azimuth steering line. Once again, quick pause, just look at our symbology. We've got CBU 105 selected. Our alignment is now ready. SPI is provided by the TGP. And we've got the exact same symbology that we had for the JDAMs. We're gonna have a minimum and maximum range carrot, and we're gonna have a range uh, line that's gonna unwind in this circle once we're inside a range, okay? Let's unpause and continue heading towards the target. All right, so we're lined up. We have our minimum and maximum range carrots getting into position again. And once we're in range, we're gonna drop the bombs and we should be able to watch these ones all the way down. We're in range now, press and hold. There's one away. And let's watch it, F6 cam. So there it is. 
It's going to guide itself towards the target. Just like a JDAM would, except it is a cluster bomb, so it's going to splinter above the target. There it is. You can see the parachute munitions there. They're falling on the target now. And they're going to start popping. There they go. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Really destructive stuff. So you remember what the cluster bombs did in that video. Just imagine that with GPS slash INS guidance. Now, a couple of quick notes before we leave here. Again, these are really we easy weapons to use, similar to the JDAM. Uh, differences between the 103 and the 105, uh, just like the differences between the 87 and the 97, the 103 is uh, very lightly or unarmored targets, with the 105 being designed for um, armored targets as well. Uh, as lightly armored vehicles and uh, vehicles in general, and it also has the smart munitions within them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, get out there and practice with your WCMDs and your JDAMs and all of your weapons, of course, and I hope to see you for the next video. Take care.